Gist with Enkel Boriche. Hi everyone, my name is Enkel Boriche and you're welcome to yet another edition of The Gist. Guys, you really cannot imagine who I'm here with today. This man, yeah, is one of the most sought after comedians. When you hear his name alone, you just start to laugh. How much more when you see him? He just, he's a bundle of joy. I'm sure when his parents gave birth to him, they were like, ah, this bundle of joy that has been born today. I'm talking about none other than the one and only Dan the Humorer. If I say from a if you want to come straight, if your flight is Wednesday, 2.30, you leave your house Sunday, 4.45. To make sure. Now maybe they talk about that. <laughs> what is this sort of stuff? <laughs> You books, uh, I live by did not tell me. You now brought me here. <laughs> but if you insist, yes, sir, I insist. No problem. <laughs> you are the most, one of the most sought after. We and well, such an honor we thank God, we thank God. Thank you, thank You're you, welcome. thank you. So let's yes, dive right into it. Yes. Tell us who is Dan the Humorous. Uh, hi. Who is Dan the Humorous? <laughs> no way, journalists they ask this question. <laughs> they, they usually tire me. Why? Because I first of all, they say that. Can we meet you? I'm standing in front of you. <laughs> Are you I'm standing right in front of you and you're still can That's we meet? That's why I changed the okay, language. Can we meet me? Okay, wait, let me go home. <laughs> then, then you call me <laughs> and ask if you can meet me. Uh, Dan, <coughs> Dan the humorous um, original name, Daniel Walker, um, from River State, oh, okay. uh, Equator Local Government. I'm the first of seven children. Wow. Uh, not from one woman, different women. Oh, yeah. okay. Can't label somebody. I like know. That. Yeah, so I diversified. My grandma had like, 10. From one? From only her. Bowel. I did tell one Bowel. Hi. <laughs> Modern ladies, are you hearing? <laughs> Modern women now, you just born two. You it just do your wife like this. Hey, hey what is that? What please, is that? Please, please. Well let's do one for the road. <laughs> yeah, who will carry it? Who will carry it? Anyway, we'll get it on that subject. <laughs> You know, uh, so uh, he's seven a stand up kids. comedian. Yeah, well, the first of seven kids, uh, graduate of University of Port Harcourt, Linguistics mm. and Communications, uh, stand up comedian, actor, entertainment entrepreneur, uh, political satirist, practicing politician as well. Wow. Um, a preacher, some days. Uh, what else? What am I against? Uh, small activist, very small activist. Husband, for now son. oh yes ah very important thank you for reminding me oh, hey if not my stories that touch i'm telling you <laughs> husband father family head responsibility carrier mm. school fees pay school fees pay <laughs> <laughs> rent pay <laughs> oh my yeah, god so that's basically who i am uh yeah. what i am yeah. uh you yeah. wear so many hats yes and you carry out each and every one of them with passion with mm -hmm. zeal and mm -hmm. you get results. What is what doing is what doing. Uh, mm. How do you say it again? What doing well. is what doing well. well. Yeah. So um, whatever I'm connected to, I kind of find a natural connection to mm. that and then establish it and go about it judiciously. So that means that's what kind of like fuels your passion. Because I was about to ask you, mm. what fuels your passion? How are you able to make a success of all your endeavors? My, my connection to it. My connection to it. Uh, because... I believe everything I have been doing or do is a legitimate mm. connection. My, I used to love, growing up as a child, I used to love entertainment. I used to watch a lot of TV. I used to watch a lot of Bill Cosby, a lot of uh, Drew Carey, a lot of uh, hanging out with Mr. Cooper, plenty of them, Mac mm. uh, McCurry and all of them. And so as I'm connecting to it, I begin to find myself, the interest is building. Yeah. And then I'm beginning to see another angle mm. to it. You know how when maybe you are watching a pastor preach or you're listening to a message yeah. and you are getting what he's saying, but from there you're forming another sermon of your own. You're learning something and you're saying, ah, this thing that he said, if this was this, this was that, then it will be this. You, you know, and all of that. You start getting an individual yeah. so, insight. Exactly. Mm. So from watching comedy and enjoying comedy, as I find finding myself developing my own jokes, my own materials yeah. and everything, from following politics, following the news, I started finding my own voice, finding mm. my own uh, paths and channels to profile solutions to societal problems and all of that, which is what made me to start to connect with them, to follow, you know, some of the political moves, particularly around my area 
there. Yeah. You see how I can affect my positively. immediate environment positively mm -hmm. and, you know, to expand it. And we believe that as time goes, some of these seeds that we've sown in some other areas will begin to, yes. you know, bear fruit. For now, I think uh, entertainment, the entertainment angle, mm -hmm. uh, having sown those seeds um, over 10 years ago, nearly 15 years now, they are definitely have been bearing fruits yeah. um, over time. So that brings me to my next question, which would be, you've gone through lots of experiences. Which of your experiences in all the different hats, clothes, shoes that you wear mm. has affected or challenged your faith? You know, time and time again that I have been challenged, even personally, even in family life, that mm. say, man, ah, but, but you got us we talk this thing before. What's going on? You know, but growing up, you know, I, I happened to start my comedy career early. So I was able to realize that, okay, this entertainment that I'm going to, this comedy that I'm going to, is to fulfill a purpose. It's not just a career that I'm practicing. It's not just a job that I'm doing. I'm going about it to fulfill a purpose. So whenever those times come in, I quickly get into the consciousness that I'm not here for a job. I'm not here to enjoy a career. I'm here to fulfill a purpose. Mm. And there are times that... Things might look rough, but it's just a work in, in the, progress. And you just you keep know? your focus. And I just keep the focus, yeah. Focus. And then that is why the my best gospel song ever is that Mary Mary song. Mm. Uh, I just exactly. Can't keep is it your favorite song too? <laughs> one of my favorite. Yeah, that songs. that is my number one. Mm. Anytime that happens, uh, that song just comes into my head. Ah. <laughs> you know? So that means that nobody said that the road would be easy. You know, I just um, he, I don't he, he, believe he will bring me this far to, to leave me. me. You know, so those two lines alone they do the job. And then um, years ago, here the pastor when he talked about the, that part of the Bible that says, uh, "My burden, my yoke is easy, my burden, burden is light." Nice. That means that there is a yoke, there is a burden. It's just that the difference mm. between the one you will carry here and carry there. You know, and the, I know he and went for that. Is is different. Exactly. You know, you consciousness that look, he will not give you much more, more than, than you can bear. bear. Come on, so, Pastor, <laughs> preach right now. <laughs> so, so whatever it is that you are facing at that moment, it's because God knows you can carry him, yes. carry it. So you should not disappoint him. So that's basically it. So there, there have been several moments and I walk in the consciousness that they will still come. Mm -hmm. They will still but you're come. you're ready for them. Very ready for them. Very you know, and when we say we are ready for them, it's not like when it happened when I say, come on, I'll tell you. I'll tell you, say, I'm ready. Sure. Yeah. It will still hit you. It will still hit you. Yes. But it all lies in the consciousness. You could cry. Yes, of course. Yes, yes of course. Mm -hmm. But then you go back, pick yourself up and keep moving. Absolutely. I picked up a part where you said, you know, even in family life. Yeah. Please tell us, how did you meet your wife? Mm. And <laughs> if you would advise every married person out mm. there in two, two, bu two bullet points, what would you say has been the sustaining power of uh, your marriage? Well, uh, okay. The first, how would I? I met my wife in in her workplace. Uh, she used to work in a radio station. Then I used to come promote my shows and stuff. And I used to listen to her. I liked her political discussions and everything. And then I now so I said, "Ah, you even fine like this." It self. was an entanglement of the brain. Self. Exactly. So. Uh, bullet points. I, I always tell. I used to tell my friends, and you know, when I have opportunity to speak to people, that find a partner that suits your pursuits. There has to be that thing that's connecting you people. Yeah. Once you find it in that person, that lays the foundation. So that always has a way. It's like a generator. It has a way of generating the whole romance mm. thing all over again because sometimes when you can't do, oh baby, I love you, baby, I love you, you don't drop like two children. That's why. The image can come outside. Say, ah, ah, this was not what we ordered online. <laughs> what I what, ordered, what I ordered, what I ordered, I ordered <laughs> online, and what you know. But you now remember all those things, all and then things. it's not like you're drawing their past my neighbor. Grr, grr, yeah. grr, grr, and then it comes back yeah. again. Yes. Yeah. So that number one, basically, once you find that common ground, I think everything will work itself out. Fall into place. Awesome. So tell us quickly. 
what has what would you describe as your most memorable moment in your life and your worst moment in your life as well? Hmm. Memorable moment. I've had, I've had several several but okay let me say it this way moving coming to lagos i i had plans mm. you know i'd made calls and everything because i'd wanted to come to lagos for a long time but several things and then before you know i got married ah, oh you know and then god did it that my wife now had a job in lagos so i like she now said how will i leave you here i said who are you leaving all of us we are going okay. you know so when i started making calls ah okay you're gonna put me through here you put me through here everything was Concrete, Straight up, sealed. concrete. So as I enter Lagos, back, 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 shut down everywhere. You know, they know that yes, we have oh come. Oh my God, do I want you to hear know? the other part of this story? <laughs> you know, and then when we came, I don't come. Uh, uh, okay, some no pick up. Some no pick up. No In fact, one shocking thing was that there, there's somebody who, when I was in Port Harcourt. He used to fly me to Lagos, keep me in a hotel for his shows, or one other nice hotel like that in Ekoi. He knows himself. And then now, I'm in town. You don't go buy ticket again. You don't go pay hotel again. I don't reach. I know they you go know they, come, they put me for a show again. You know, so everything, all of those channels, everything just... Shut down. We came in the month of September. This September actually makes it three years. We came in the month of September. September, October, November... We were living on the income of my wife. They make it. They make it dime, you know. And then, fast forward anyway. All the things that I have my hands in right now were not in the scheme. In the original. In plan. the original plan, absolutely. It was always bumping into this and all of that. But what I got from that, and that is where they talk about preparation, meeting opportunity, mm. is that in those other areas that I have channeled initially i had prepared for them i was working in the consciousness of preparation mm -hmm. so when i now when these other opportunities presented themselves it kind of like fit it just fits in okay for example Square the radio program i was uh, telling you of, of offset about you know what even happened it was supposed to be a two three man program and then i was going to visit one of my friends who was part of the crew mm -hmm. and i came the first day and they were like, oh, Dan is with us. I have follow put mouth. You know, and then we were discussing politics and everything from the comic side. And it was a very beautiful conversation. Some of that, some days later, I was supposed to meet up my guy. I went there. I sat in the studio. Because of traffic and all, they hadn't come. It was time. It was only like 10 minutes past. And when they called, ah, no other person had come. But this is your guy. He's here. He's waiting for you people. Though. You know, it's not the, the leader of the program. I said, okay. Put him on. Let him just do it. Say, so, can you can you sure he can? Ah, no, he's been doing it since in, in okay. Portaco. He can do it. Let him do it till he comes. And then I did it. That traffic was so bad, it didn't turn up until the end of the program. And then I was like, Kai, man, you held it down. Wow. You sure say no go follow. I said, I get what now they do again. I go follow. Wow. You know, and th and that's how it that's how it happens. So there have been several, you know, turning point defining moments for mm. me. But quickly, then the sad moments there have been sad moments, there have been worst moments. Uh, the worst moment of my life will be when I lost a child, when we had a miscarriage. You know, it was it was terrible. It was terrible. It's it's not what I would wish anybody. You yeah. know, it's terrible. When you hear that, you realize it. You know, there's this proverb that said, um, Coughing, they did like wood for your eye until mm. now your person day inside. inside. You know, so was it like a miscarriage or a stillbirth? No miscarriage. Mm. The, you never reach how many months. Mm. It all happened so funny. The older, the the older child. I wanted to say the child that was alive. <laughs> <laughs> The yeah. other child woke up. This is a just, serious matter. Just woke up. I know. I would not pass it. Not to the <laughs> He woke up and started crying, mm. and then oh, oh body, we got to the hospital and poof. Mm. The water just that's when I saw the water just break bah, mm. like that, you know. And it was a miracle because then the doctors now said that uh, ah, based on how the woman body day one thing one thing, I think you guys have to chill for like two or three years, you know. But well, somehow, yeah. You know, but somehow, somehow, within one calendar year, we don't bring another album. So, no, we can't get off the market like that. Please, I need to understand. Uh, Is it that you not hear what the doctor said? Because I'm not saying are you. I heard what the doctor said, but there were other spirits working <laughs> in me. He that is in me Hallelujah. was greater than what was in the doctor. Ah, ah. So the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit so where he you. decided on Mary ah, to give immaculate conception. <laughs> <laughs> That's one now, you know, happened. 
and you know there has been one moment i will never forget in the in my career years ago 2008 i came for a show julius Agos show love for christ's sake and i i did so well ah you don't say I even do well like that too people are saying i'm doing well that ah that time we would divest mm. i did so well and alibaba was like ah stay back there's a program tomorrow morning yeah. tomorrow evening and then i stayed back and apparently he didn't tell the event managers about me so when he wanted to smuggle me into the program is uh, they were doing sound check for queen ayo balogun so they are doing i'm struggling to crack joke meanwhile he had a particular joke in mind that i did that had to do with raining nigerian songs at the time say i want you to do that song but the audience wasn't for that joke yeah so while it was it was like nigerian film while this we are doing boom, 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 behind me i'm struggling i'm building up these people are managing to laugh the event manager can cite her from the end of the hall who is that who is that on the stage she was running to come and me. Meet you. and somebody was like ali what's going on ali do that joke do that quickly do that joke quickly and the way i learned comedy I'm imagining slowing this moment uh, yeah <laughs> and the way i learned comedy I like, I always link. Mm -hmm. I always link. You know, I talk about oh, children, like you know, yeah. So, how do I want to now fly to that place all of a sudden? So, by the time I flew there, I disjointed the audience. <laughs> audience was lost. I lead the shot for me. Event manager, they run. <laughs> the next thing, sound engineer off me. <laughs> oh! Oh, God! <laughs> now, nah, wow! <laughs> calamity! You know, calamity and when I came out, calamity. you know, and uh, uh, the funny thing is, the funny thing is that day, I now, you know, say so when you don't perform well as comedian, and my friend talking, and now you can't know the new functions for your phone. You can't they look and say, ah! I'm not going to say this, my phone gets sent out. You don't look anybody face. But also when you perform you well as comedian, when you perform well as comedian, I tell you, remember, say, Tim Obruche, they sound, do my go greet them. You can't walk out the whole extent of the hall. Everybody goes, ah, 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 take it, Tim, Tim, I said, I can't greet you. Meanwhile, if you don't perform well, then then you say, Tim, they call you, you say, we'll see later. Ah, my phone, my my leg, I get cramps now, you know. And funny enough, it was um this um event planner of blessed memory now mm. uh what's her name now uh it's Tosin. that's the only time we have ever met Tosin came to me tapped my back they said don't worry i was at julius's show yesterday mm. you were fantastic this shouldn't be any defining this thing for you you were really good i said eh. while i was this the midnight crew there's one of them not part now mm. the other there's one other lady yeah. the, uh, she also now said the same thing so like ah, you know it was a calming <sighs> you see those words at that moment they go be I'm like everything you. you know they just they just be like energy drink it just ah. goes up boom say, what is it <laughs> you know? and so that has also helped my consciousness to yeah. when there are sometimes you go for events like the fear they catch you so the <laughs> the, the, the the conviction that always pushes me to say the worst thing that can happen is that they not go call me here again mm. I know you know go stop me from being a comedian or oh, die now die oh, oh tell us three things yeah that mm. people don't know about you hmm three things three things that... there was one you were trying to tell me before the show so if you just start with that one Which, no that's not just the... <laughs> <laughs> the one that yeah, okay I nearly joined cult I know joined cult Jesus you know i nearly joined cult I, 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 well that's why you knew that god is packaging you yes. you know because what happened i've been one join no <laughs> don't be like say i see jesus no i'm one join thankfully but, but thankfully what delayed me was that i didn't enter immediately with my mates i waited i me and jambo were wrestling for five good years what yeah we we'll rest if you say rest, we we'll rest, we'll wrestle not against flesh and blood. Ah, no, I wrestle against flesh and blood for you. You know, so I believe that if I had entered with my mates that time, because by the time I entered, the only the, the my mates that I met were the ones who were studying medicine because the medicine they Nine, take seven years. Uh -huh. All so that's everybody, engineers, everybody don't go, so don't leave me come day. Wow. Me, I can't be like Papa, <laughs> so to so the ones with the <laughs> so the countries were confused. <laughs> Uh, cause and then by then I I started making small name in comedy in in in, in Port Harcourt. Yeah. So to the cultists it was a privilege for me to be hanging with them. Mm. So this one they confuse say this one don't put this one this one don't put this one. So in their confusion 
Now, so I did graduate quietly. Without joining <laughs> Without anyone. Joining. Hallelujah. <laughs> so, yeah, the so we the second thing that is there. Maybe people, maybe I read a lot. Okay. I read a lot. I read everything. I can I tell. Read everything. Actually. I read everything. Because you you sound very yeah. intellectual when you speak. Then I don't know. You know, <laughs> I, I I've been groomed to do that from an early age. Okay. Uh, I like my space. I like my privacy. Without drama. I like if you leave me, only me a good day house. I have had the mm. most amazing time talking to you. Now we're going to get into the best part of this show, which I love. Mm. It's called the gist basket. Okay, so this is the gist basket. Okay. I just said a souvenir did this back since we won't give me. Oh! Oga, okay, calm down. So wait, we're going to have you for free. Wait. Make me first do this whole thing. Even donut with red jam what? inside. Direct. Which, by the way, I don't like it. That's fraud. <laughs> That's for the do not I look forward to that little jam in the middle. Why? <laughs> Why don't you spread it? How much be jam for market? Too much sugar. If it's here, sugar. Ah, <laughs> uh -uh. I think is it not? <laughs> God, this all this diabetes now scam. Is it not God that I'll take you to a land of milk and honey? In no cause sugar for inside. But okay, milk and honey. honey. Uh -huh. Okay, okay. Milk and honey. Mm. If I for tell them, I'm taking you to a land of small unripe plantain. And bitter leaves. And bitter leaves. <laughs> <laughs> and a little sassy leaves and ozeza to cool you down. See, <laughs> not kill me for my shabby. <laughs> I don't love that today. <laughs> okay, so you're going to dip your hand into this gist basket. Okay. Pick out two cards. Whatever is written on the cards is what you're going to do. Do. Us right ah. here and right now. Pick two cards and do something. <laughs> I hope donation no there. Any <laughs> of the cards. Because I will just... I'll donate moral support. Uncle, bring it out now. One, it's money. Wait, don't they no. turn, 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 turn the team? <laughs> want to make sure that there's no result in the server. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Okay. So, what's the mm. first one? Five steps to cook Afan soup. You're Hi. going in three. With that, two, my grandmother will teach me that thing. That's one it. and go. And Step here, one. Here, take up. <laughs> Pull water. Step two. Uh, Put the leaves. Which leaves? The the uh, afang leaf. That's a uh, water. Mm, se, uh, what's that leaf? No, <laughs> not water leaf. Now there was other leaf. Now okaze. Step three. Put your okaze and this in. After water. Then after water. Then put uh, put the meat <laughs> and uh, pepper. Number five. And pamoy. Then put salt. Number five. A lot to boil and taste. <laughs> then you serve it. Uh, God will help you. <laughs> <laughs> if you do it the way I did it, <laughs> I know it's somewhere around that somewhere region. Somewhere in that circumference. Yeah. And what's the second Sing thing? Sing a song with the word Baba Pepper them. Yeah. Ha! In three. Any, two, any song I like. One. Even if the one were right. Action. Sing a song with what Baba Pepper them. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> My time is running. All them people. <laughs> when no one make we succeed. We go there, ya yeah, succeed to unashebo. Baba pepper them with our success. Baba pepper them with our exploits. Winchy, winchy people. They no want us to succeed. Baba pepper them because the Lord I serve is the grand patron of the pepper them gang. <laughs> You think say Olamide the pepper them? No, Olamide is just an ordinary pepper. My God is a tatashi, a stronger pepper than ordinary pepper. In fact, you think you are giving me pepper, but you are just green pepper, a vegetable. I chew you. It's my fault. I'm so sorry. I shouldn't have done this. I chew you. On behalf of everybody. Just a green pepper. Jesus. You think you are you think you are a brown pepper? I put you on suya, your spice. <laughs> I beg tomorrow come studio, make me wash. Make me wash this album. Release this. Now then they beg me on. I just don't want to bring out my music. Oh God. If you did it, now we be do you know DJ Khalid? Oh, Jesus. Do you know DJ Khalid? I know DJ Khalid. I'm DJ Khalid of the gospel. Come moment. on now. I want Come to do now. one DJ Khalid compilation. Make we talk We're the one. best. We go talk and DJ tomorrow. Khalid of the gospel. I got my man. Let's turn their bus here. Let's turn their bus. Give it to them. <laughs> 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 Yo, my my cap do. Tell them what's going on. Hey, come here. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Mommy, find trouble. <laughs> oh my God. Anna, AK, give it to them. Oh, yeah, they're my. I'm going to get my. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, my mm. little boss, though. Oh my God. Mm. Oh, NK, breathe, breathe. You breathe. call this upon yourself. Exactly. Breathe. You invented this upon yourself. <laughs> And the record is not over yet. I bet make you over. The record is not over yet. <laughs> Pekka's book I give it to them. Now she go come. No. Tabella, I give it to them. Now she go come to sing. Ori ni yoko po. Kapiti, kapiti, kukru. No, that's not how I want it. I want it to turn the volume up. Baba, mi mo, mi mo, mi mo, mo. I beg now, pepe, now, baba, pepe, then, now we start from. Eh, uh, no, now this is a compilation. Oh, okay, uh, okay. We're calling oh Dana God. friends. Oh my God. <laughs> oh. Okay, the mm. last one before we go. Mm. If you were a painter, and you were given a brush mm. and a picture frame to paint your next five years, wow, what would the picture look like? Wow, in terms wow. of your career, your family, everything mm. that has to to be picture here. me. In my own house. Mm, amen. With some new cars. Come on now. One more child if my wife will agree. And I'm going to discuss uh, that one first. Uh, but I'll paint her first. The <laughs> painting of it. <laughs> Driving to my own television production office complex where we make content mm. for people. Uh, possibly occupying a political office. Yes. Federal or state level mm. influencing people. Either way, in five years, we will not just be living for for we, mm. but we'll be living for society. Wow. Mm. That is a beautiful painting. I don't see myself inside the painting. When we they do housewarming, I suppose can't sing. And I there, then there's the, there's a picture of you, microphone, without your cap with always. <laughs> and you'll be like this in the picture. Jesus. Do you know why you'll be like this in the picture? Why? Because you just shouted. Ah! Hey, hey, hey. That's your action. That's your action. Hey. Oh my God. And I pray for you that everything you want to see in the picture will come to pass. Amen. In Amen. Jesus name. Including the hey. Including the hey. <laughs> so we'd like to say a huge thank I'll talk you. I'll talk about you again. That'll be you again. Even people don't know this. Oh my Bring God. It. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming. We truly, ah, truly and appreciate you. you. We wish you all the best. Open in your <laughs> open up when you reach out. So we're signing out. This is Dan the Humorous. Yes, so thank you. I've had a wonderful time thank here. And a wonderful gift. Mm. The way they lose the money day. Oh my God. Don't just give me a thumb blow. <laughs> I have enough Tumblr in the house. <laughs> mm, okay. Bye, guys. We're Congratulations, bye bye. Let me inspect my <laughs> Thank you. Jeez.